The Iraq war veteran who killed his police officer wife was just sentenced to life in prison with a chance of parole in 35 years. And for the first time, we hear from Jennifer Sabina's mother, who says she forgives her daughter's killer. I forgive Ben and leave Ben's future in the hands of God and the criminal justice system. We will never get over a loss of Jenny. That sentencing took several hours. Emotional testimony from both the victim's family as well as the killer's family. And the judge was very deliberate in his ruling about this tragic murder. Cody Holyoke is live in front of the courthouse where things are just wrapping up. Cody? Mike Courtney, good afternoon. Yes, Ben Sabina will be at least 65 years old before he ever sees the light of day, steps foot outside of a prison here in the state of Wisconsin. This sentencing took three hours, but really when you look at it, it's, it's just a drop in the bucket compared to the eight months both sides of this case have had to wait it out for any sense of closure. Now, Ben Sabina had recently taken a plea deal last month admitting to shooting his wife, Wauwatosa police officer Jennifer Sabina on Christmas Eve. He did that so prosecutors would recommend the possibility of parole. A defense attorneys argued the Marine was tormented by his time fighting overseas. Prosecutors okay. shot that down and submitted Sabina knew exactly what he was doing and even waited for the right time to kill his wife. And today, Ben Sabina himself apologized publicly for the first time since this murder. I was in a place where I, I didn't have anything else left for me. And after our discussion, I didn't want to do that to her, and I'm sorry that I took away your daughter, and I'm sorry I took away your sister. If I could replace my life with hers right now, I would do it. Now, this afternoon was packed with emotional testimony from Ben Sabina's mother asking the judge for leniency, and as we just saw a second ago, Jennifer Sabina's mom basically uh, extending a, an olive branch. She, she forgives Ben Sabina, obviously still grief stricken by what happened. The Wauwatosa Police Department also came out near the law enforcement memorial here on the south lawn of the courthouse to give their say. We'll have that tonight on Live at 6. For now, reporting live downtown Milwaukee, Cody Holyoke, today's TMJ4. Cody, you watched the sentencing in the courtroom. We watched it here on a live feed in the newsroom. The judge took, boy, a lot of time thinking over all of his options. He seemed, I don't know if he struggled with it, but he certainly put a lot of thought into this. That's true, Mike. For it seemed minutes at a time, Judge David Borowski was he, he was concentrating very hard because he knows that this set its effects, not just the police family, uh, Ben Sabina's family, Jennifer Sabina's family. And there are a lot of things that need to go into this. He needs to look at the severity of the crime. We know this is a very severe crime. He also has to look at the character of Ben Sabina. And as we've been talking about over the past week or so, defense attorneys have submitted all of this evidence. They say points to Ben Sabina as a wounded warrior, someone who left home in Wisconsin and came back a different person. So there was a lot that went into this sentence and prosecutors had uh, in their plea agreement, were going to recommend 50 to 60 years before Ben Sabina uh, could have the, uh, the possibility of parole. So the judge actually went a lesser route, still a very stiff sentence for this man. All right, Cody Holyoke joining us live from outside the courthouse. Thank you.